it's the Benny Dome Enthusiast here. Today's video we're talking about the so-called piranha style attacks which have been in the papers this last week. Give us a thumbs up if you like our content guys, click the subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Straight into the news then. A number of incidents have occurred over the summer where fish have nibbled on swimmers in the Mediterranean Sea. On some days, as many as 15 people have visited the first aid centres up and down the Alicante coastline and there have been a few reported in Benidorm. First of all, let's make this very clear that these fish are not piranhas as the papers are making out. Piranhas are freshwater fish, they don't even live in the sea. The fish in question is a species called the Oblada melanura. They're around 30 centimetres in length and have a black spot on their tail. And yes, they can be pretty nippy. They look for small wounds, warts or moles on the skin. And yes, they may draw blood and even leave small teeth marks. But they're certainly not going to be chewing you down to the bone or anything like that. One of the members on our Facebook group commented, Yes, I've been bitten by them and let me tell you, it's nothing to worry about. Just a little nip here and there, get back in the sea. They then added, bigger injuries falling over in the street. So what's happened with these fish is that they've become used to being fed by people. These are very common fish in the med. If you're on a boat trip or something like that and you throw food over the side, these are the fish you'll often see in shoals flapping about on the surface. They're now starting to associate humans with food and they so they may peck at any meaty smelling wounds. This pecking at humans isn't particularly new. An increase in bites from these fish was first noticed in 2017 when Gabrielle Soller, scientific director, then highlighted the increase in sea temperature affecting marine species. Some are more tolerant and others have less capacity to adapt, but all are affected in their distribution and behaviour. This year, the fish are said to have been particularly aggressive and it's thought this is due to record temperatures of the Mediterranean Sea. It's increased their metabolism, essentially making them more hungry and therefore looking for more food. They're also approaching the Alicante coastline more this year. You'll see lots of these fish around Tabarca Island and previously fewer along the shore. But they're getting more adventurous and more are approaching the beaches this year. Again, this is thought to be linked to the high temperatures of the sea. Experts agree that the Mediterranean Sea is much warmer, which alters the behaviour of marine fauna. The water temperature is between 29 and 30 degrees, according to data from the Climatological Lab of the University of Alicante. The temperature of the Med has broken all records this summer and continues to increase every day. The Mediterranean recorded an average temperature of 28.71 degrees at the end of July, some four degrees above average for that time of year. Generally, the highest ocean temperatures are recorded at the end of the season, towards the end of September, after months of accumulating heat from the sunshine. But this year, we've seen those incredibly high sea temperatures much earlier in the year. It's worrying, as these temperatures do, of course, threaten marine ecosystems. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change classifies the Mediterranean Sea as a climate change hotspot. Since the 1980s, a drastic change has been observed in Mediterranean ecosystems, with a sharp decline in biodiversity and the appearance of invasive species. Under a global warming scenario exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius above temperatures, more than 20% of Mediterranean fish and invertebrates could become locally extinct by 2060, and fisheries income could decline by 30% by 2050, experts warn. This summer we've also seen a lot of jellyfish lurking in the coastal waters. Again, this isn't a new phenomenon, but it does seem to be increasing year after year. The increase in global temperature and in turn the temperatures in the sea has caused jellyfish to get closer and closer to the areas frequented by bathers. Now, not all jellyfish are stinging jellyfish and one of the most common species for this region is one that doesn't sting. But it still puts a lot of people going in the sea. 
There are also some jellyfish which do sting. Generally, they leave an uncomfortable itching sensation on the skin. Not very pleasant. We took our dogs to one of the dog-friendly beaches near Alicante Airport last week and a jellyfish washed up on the rocks. Bertie, being the nosy and adventurous dog that he is, spotted it first and he was having a real good sniff around before we spotted it and called him away. It was too late though, the jellyfish must have still had some venom in it, although we do think it was dead, but that transferred to Bertie's face and he was immediately trying to scratch his face off on the nearby rocks. Contrary to popular belief, peeing on a jellyfish sting can actually make it worse. And thankfully we were aware of this, so that's not a remedy we tried on Bertie. We got him back in the sea and kept rinsing his face with the seawater for about 10 minutes until the initial itch had died down. He was a bit shaken up, but after another 10 minutes he was back splashing around chasing waves. So don't try and pee on a jellyfish if sting. <laughs> I'm not particularly a fan of jellyfish, but it won't stop me going in the sea, and neither will the obladders. It's the sea, it's where they live, it's their home, and it's a complete whole other world underwater. The weird and wonderful creatures that live in the med amaze me. I love snorkeling and seeing them all. But yes, some of them do bite, they sting, they peck, and they nibble. Just like on land, we've got creatures that bite, stick, peck, and nibble. It doesn't stop us leaving the house, does it? And it won't stop me going in the sea. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. A little extra news video for you this week to try and combat the scary headlines in the press. We've still got a great video coming up for you this weekend and loads more planned for the rest of September. A busy month with British and Irish tourists and we hope to get a lot of you who are visiting on camera at some point. We're really looking forward to seeing you all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Just click the beer mug in the corner and get subscribed. Also, check us out on our other platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at The Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe. Now, not all jellyfish are stinging jellyfish and one of the species common to the region, Cotillo <laughs> I ain't going to say that. Oh God, this is hard.